Well, hello. <laughs> it's been a bit since I've actually done like a little sit down video. Before I go on, I wanted to insert this into the video real quick. <laughs> I was gonna film this and like show it off, but then I just went on to talking, so I'm gonna throw it in. All right, so I wanted to show you my magical, most fantastical shirt that I got recently. This is Miko from Pocahontas. Yes, my baby. <laughs> but it says just here for the food and he's eating one of those little crackers from Pocahontas. And I have little star shorts on. These are so comfortable. They're from Justice, they're amazing. This was from Hot Topic. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I, had to I just feel like a lot has been going on, I guess. Um, I mean, for what can be a lot going on, I don't know. Mike and I have been really busy with helping my dad out a lot with projects that he's been working on around the house. Um, we finally have our like summer set up here. I'm just gonna show you guys, cause this, so not this, this is not part of the summer setup. This is part of the summer project setup. We have stuff we have to start doing in the backyard. Uh, we did a lot of stuff in the front. Um, but yeah, we got our, we have our table up for the summer, which is awesome. Um, and I recently um, got the hammock up. Yes! And then we also have this beautiful lounge chair that um, that we keep stored in the winter. So I got that out and washed it off. It's dry. It's just drying right now. Um, we store those down in that little playhouse. Um, I do want to share. I'm going to put this cl that clip in here, even though I'm sorry I filmed it the wrong way because I was in TikTok. Uh, filming mode um, so I filmed it um, up and down not side to side uh, but I'll throw it in here um, there's a little baby bat that lives in that playhouse over there and I'm officially calling it the bat cave and I'll let you see that clip and then I'll continue hey I wanted to try to catch a little video of something which I have tried before but it didn't work out very well so in here which I am now officially calling the Bat Cave, and I'm thinking of putting a sign up there. Um, there's a baby bat, there's a really small bat um, that's just hanging out there. I don't want to keep disturbing him, but I just want to see if I can get a little light clip. Oh, I hope it'll scare him. Hey little guys, just want to say hi. Oh, can you see him? You can. too cute. I hope you can see him. It's really hard. He's looking like right at me. I see that little... Yeah, that little face. Okay, I'll leave you alone now. I just don't... I want to see him. Okay, bye. Love you, bat. Don't be scared. Welcome back! Yes, so that was my little bat friend. I um, I included the snapshots from that video because I realized that um, that video was really shaky and I'm sorry. I just, I was like sticking the iPad in like trying to like get them so it got real, real shaky. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, so I, I cleared some stuff out of there, working on projects. I finally finally gloriously got my unemployment so I think I might have mentioned it in videos in the past this during the whole quarantine um, but I was really trying hard to apply for unemployment and it took me so long so many headaches oh my god I hated every second of it because it just was so stressful I have severe anxiety so when it comes to those things I'm a little bit like scatterbrained and all over the place and tend to mess things up because I'm nervous about it, about messing it up, which is ironic. Um, thankfully, my wonderful cousin came in, well, her name's Christina, she came and helped me with a bunch of it and she kept me going because I had to keep making phone calls, I had all these things come up, you know, so I finally got it solved. And after about a month and a half of pain, <laughs> Of mental and emotional pain. I know it's dramatic. Um, but after a month and a half, my first check came through and I, I knew that the moment it came through, I was going to be so thankful for the hard work that I put into it, um, which I appreciate my cousin for helping push me through it. Cause it's really hard for me to do those kind of things. I get really stressed about it. So I'm happy about that. Um, and also, uh, 
I have fun news that I'm uh, hoping that we'll be able to vlog a little bit when it comes. Um, but Mike and I are going to go to Ocean Shores at the end of this month. So it is currently July 6th. Monday, July 6th. We just have 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. I hope you all had a safe, fun 4th of July. Um, we do this thing where we celebrate my dad's birthday too because his birthday is July 5th. So we had a whole little thing with um, a couple of my aunts and it was fun. It was really fun um, and relaxing. Um, but yeah, so today I just want, I decided to just kind of be outside today because it's just so nice and it feels good to not be cooped up in the house. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go to Ocean Shores. The, I set it up for um, the end of July, and it's going to be about three nights. And I'm so excited because Mike has not seen Ocean Shores. And Ocean Shores is a big place in Washington State where, like, you know, you're right on the ocean, of course. I mean, Ocean Shores. <laughs> Does that mean you're on the ocean? Yes. <laughs> but he, he, he's never been there. And so I've been so excited. I wanted to take him there. And we've been wanting to have like a trip. Um, I did a lot of research. We went through a lot of hotels and reviews and made sure we found like the cleanest one that was affordable. Because we know that it's kind of iffy with the whole COVID thing. There's, there's some things that will probably be like a little bit different. I know the stores are going to be open because they talked about how they really need uh, tourism stuff for like, you know, business because they have been closed. But, you know, we're going to bring our masks. We'll be super safe. Um, yeah, and I'm probably going to clarify with them that they made, that the, like, the cleanliness was up to par considering everything, <laughs> just, to, just to make sure. Um, so that will be a fun road trip for us, um, and he'll finally get to see the ocean. Hopefully he can vlog it. Now, the one last thing I really wanted to talk about, um, so I know I've been absent from YouTube. Um, not that it really matters too much, but I just... I like having videos for myself, like just little vlogs and stuff, but I've been kind of absent because um, recently I lost my cat, Teddy Bear. I haven't talked about it on here yet. It's just like, so um, my kitty, Teddy Bear, I have so much. I'm sure I have plenty of videos on my channel. He lived at my mom's house. Uh, he was about 14 years old. He was, he was up there in age and he was the last animal that of a long line of animals that I grew up with. Um, so it's kind of been really hard. I really, really wanted to do like a really cool montage video with all his pictures, but um, I haven't gotten down the whole trying to find the music that's okay on YouTube thing. Um, and I just, I've never, I haven't really worked with much audio on YouTube, like putting music in. So I just, I've kind of been reserved to do that. And also it's always hard to kind of, you know, you know, muster up that like motivation to make such a sad video I mean it's not sad but because it, it's because it's remembering him but I did however do a TikTok version I know it sounds like I'm just like go to TikTok go to TikTok god I'm one of those people aren't I um but no I made a, a little it was a one minute video on TikTok to the perfect song um which is um and I really would love if you guys want to check that out if you want to see a little montage of my kitty teddy bear um and uh, he just like, yeah, he he's struggled with sinus problems for a very long time. He had severe allergies. We were he had special medication he took for years. Um, he was always sneezing. The poor baby. I don't like. They never could truly get to the bottom. He just they just said, oh, it's just like he's allergic to something. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if they really did their best to you know solve the issue. Uh, no offense, but, you know, I hear there are some places, there are all some vet places that, like, miss things, you know, and I think they might have missed some things, but anyways, um, and he just, like, the past year has been going downhill, was going downhill a lot, um, I hadn't seen him for, like, I mean, I barely saw him since I moved over to my dad's house, um, which was always hard on me as it was, because I miss him, I was so close to him, I like groomed him every night, I brushed him, I cuddled with him, and he was always up with me at night, because he was a night owl, just like me, because kitties, I guess they're kind of nocturnal, they can be nocturnal at least, and so he was up all night most of the time, or up during the night with me, um, and I just, I just, I have a special bond with him, I really missed him, I would try to visit him when I could, but it's just hard when you're so busy with work, and my mom's working, and like, trying to get over there and I did see him uh, once more before like when we knew things were starting to go downhill pretty bad so he started developing some sort of cancerous growth between his nose and his eye like right here 
Um, it was really, I think it was making one of his eyes bulge too, and it was just, it was so fast how it happened, like we were trying to keep an eye on it, trying to keep it comfortable, and, um, do what we could, but I guess it just kept growing, so like a few weeks later, after, I, or a month maybe, after I saw him, my mom's like, hey, I really think we need to take Teddy Bear in, and I think it's his time, and so, um, I knew I had to be there for that, so we were we were safe. I wore a mask, I, every of course, um, and like we went to the vet and you know put him down, unfortunately. Um, and his growth that I was talking about literally was like this big, like on his head. I like f like it was a couple of weeks when I since I had seen him and I was like, oh my god, the poor baby. It was just one of those things that we couldn't help. And so we had to put him down, and yeah, so I, so please go check out my little TikTok video that I made as a montage to him. I'm going to still try to see if I can put together one for YouTube, um, but I am going to include the last clip that I took of him in this video. I just want to let you know that um, like this was a couple weeks before he actually we put him down, but he still wasn't looking very good. He had, you know, some crusties in his eyes and please don't be alarmed by it. Um, if it, if it's triggering in any way, don't just send the video here and I'll see you in another one. But he, uh, yeah, he, he wasn't looking that great when I last had take, to take, last had taken a video of him. He wasn't looking that great. Um, but I wanted that to remember him by, and so I'm going to include that in here. So thank you for watching this. Um, and I hope you Enjoy my little TikTok montage to Teddy Bear as well as the little video I'm going to include in here. All right. Bye. Hey guys, I don't know if I'll put this online or not, but this is my kitty Teddy Bear that I don't get to see very often. He lives at my mom's house. Um, he's not doing very good, unfortunately. But I wanted to take a video of, like, which, yes, I know he has eye stuff. I haven't been here. Um, They've been trying to like take care of it and everything, clean out his eyes, but he has really bad sinus problems and we don't we've never been able to figure out what that was. We give him allergy medication all the time and but he's not doing super well. So I thought I'd come here and just make sure he's say goodbye to him. Do you love you, Boo Bear? You guys, I need to love you. I miss you. Miss you a lot. And he's a, he's a Mr. Purbox. He's a Purbox. Yeah, he's always been a Purbox. Cuddly Purbox. Oh, sweet.